first of its kind project could soon reveal the inner workings of Kilauea, Hawaii's most active volcano. Our senior producer Derek Kravitsky shows us the new approach scientists are taking to look below the surface. This is probably the biggest science project that's ever been undertaken on Kilauea at one time. Head scientist with Hawaiian Volcano Observatory Ken Hahn is talking about creating a 3D image of the inside of Kilauea. To make it happen, researchers with the USGS will drive this truck named Vibrosize across the volcano, sending out vibrations from this orange platform. Those vibrations will travel to about 2,000 sensors, which are normally used to find underground oil, but now will be placed strategically across the summit. We're using seismic waves a lot like light. And the truck is like a flashlight that's going along, setting off little flashes as it moves along the roadways. We're going to look at the timing of those waves as they bounce off surfaces or waves that come through the material. The liquid will slow down some waves and stop other waves. Crews will start placing the sensors this coming Monday. But project development began years ago to learn about the origin of the 2018 Kilauea eruption. The disaster started with a series of earthquakes along the East Rift zone of Lower Puna, followed by lava shooting from the ground in Leilani Estates. That lava destroyed over 700 homes and covered 58 miles of road. One of the things we really wanted to do is understand the plumbing system beneath the summit that led to the collapse and the feeding of all that lava down into Lower Puna. It's an extensive project, one that will cost half a million dollars. It's covered by relief funds, but could help us all be better prepared for the next eruption. We know how big collapses could be by looking at that, right? We can actually predict. We can also look at uh, if we know how big the magma chamber is, we can figure out how long magma is stored there, how much magma is down there, and different ways it comes out to the rift. It's going to take about two years to go through the math to reduce all the data to get the picture. So this collecting the data is just the first step. It should be stunning. Derek Kravitsky, Hawaii News Now.